And as people look for relief from the sweltering heat, a close call in Brooklyn, a young boy lucky to be alive after he nearly drowned at a public pool last night. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon continues our coverage from Greenpoint. I was swimming with my sister um, in the pool and and some ladies said like that and I, I quickly walked over and saw the little boy slumped over in, in, under the water. Anthony Torres didn't wait for the lifeguards. I went on to pick them up and I started yelling for somebody to come and, and do their job for them to help with the lifeguards. The lifeguards did give the five year old boy CPR. He was taken to a hospital where he's recovering. Torres says he's glad he could help and he'd do it again, but it left him shaken. It's dramatic. I was a lifeguard for two years. I've never seen nothing like that. It's, it's a very traumatic experience. And a reminder that anyone in weather this hot can get fatigued, even if they're good swimmers. After seven days of intense heat reaching 90 or higher, testing the grid, but without any major power outages in the city, a welcome temperature drop today with some storms. Lots of people here in McCarran Park getting in some exercise and dog walks before those storms hit, despite high humidity. It's been muggy this morning. It's cooler than it's been, though, so I feel good about that. Are you ready for the heat wave to be over? Yes, we're very ready for the heat wave to be over. It's nice to cool down again. Andrew and his family have been cooling off at the McCarran Park pool, which has been essential these past few days. Lots of people, uh, but everybody's in the same situation. Al is spending part of the summer here in Brooklyn. He's from Florida. The last couple of days worse than Florida. Really, really hot. The pool will be open for relief from the heat today, at least until the storms move through. And though tragedy was averted here, this heat wave has been deadly in the city. A Queens resident in their 70s died of hyperthermia at home over the weekend.